Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love bonus reading for my dearest Cancers. Cancers, I just want to say thank you so much for showing this channel so much unconditional love and support. Just like week after week, you guys show up for me in such a big way and it means the world to me. And I just want to say thank you and that I love you, each and every one of you. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's jump into this and see about new love coming your way. Ooh, all right, we have already two cards coming through. So we have the King of Wands and we have the Eight of Cups. All right, so your person I think is looking for their Ten of Cups, Cancer. Um, they definitely have their sights set on you, what they like about you, the Six of Wands, and we also have the Ten of Pentacles. So um, I think we came, we had this in your last reading not too long ago about new love, but this is a marriage card for sure. Marriage and family are just building a solid future together. And we're also seeing the six of cups. So this is absolutely a sweet, sweet soulmate connection here. Whoo, whoo. All right. This king of wands indicates this person could have fire in their chart. It could be uh, Leo, Aries, or Sag, or they just embody this very bold, passionate, very divine masculine energy. Somebody you're going to find very physically attractive and vice versa. I feel like this person is going to zero in on you right away, Cancer. The attraction is going to be undeniable. All right. So this person may hold back a little bit. Um, and the three of cups tells me they're most likely going to be in your energy. Um, so it might be someone that you meet while, you know, out with friends, or maybe they're a friend of a friend. Maybe it's a friend that wants to be more, could be a coworker, could be somebody you see out and about in the community in your favorite bar club or restaurant. Um, so it does feel like you're going to meet this person in person. I also feel like your person has maybe been holding back from dating and focusing on, healing or possibly on career and finances. They could have Sagittarius in their chart. This is always an indication for me as a reader that there's divine intervention here. And um, some of you, this person might work as a healer or in the healing arts. Of course, this could be you, Cancer. This could be you. I'm seeing the color red. This person most likely likes to wear the color red or is wearing, I'm seeing more of like a dark red. They could also drive a dark red car or red car is what I'm getting, but I'm, I'm seeing more clothing, red to maroon. Um, okay, let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. What else do my cancers need to know about this person? They might have strong air in their chart, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Maybe a moon in Libra specifically for some of you. We get Capricorn energy, your opposite sign. So st their work and stability are a very high priority. And we see intense. The depth of this person's thoughts and emotions may indicate a high intellect and a strong focus on their subject. Yes, this person's going to zero in on you, Cancer. Like the first time that you meet, like they're going to be, they're going to be staring. <laughs> okay. They're going to be staring. They're going to be so focused on you. And possibly they have Taurus in their chart. So they're stable, they enjoy aesthetics and comfort. They're going to find you so pleasing to the eye, Cancer. It might even make you a little bit uncomfortable at first, right? Because this person, I feel like they're going to be so direct and so focused on you. You're going to know that this person's attracted to you, but I'm not getting that it's going to be creepy, right? Like where you feel like so uncomfortable or like, why are you leering at me? Um, this person's loyal and kind. They can be a little bit stubborn at times. All right, so sorry, I'm fiddling with these cards. <laughs> I think they're making me feel a little nervous. All right, so with the Eight of Cups, um, I do feel like this person, you know, I, I feel like they're focused on their Ten of Cups. This person isn't really, like, they don't want to play games. Um, they're looking for Ten of Cups energy. Wow, that came flying out. For some of you, they're a writer, so they may journal or they might write as a profession, maybe be a journalist or something in PR. Um, yeah, that major attraction and brunette. So for some of you, they are going to have dark hair. Um, hmm. yeah, but again, remember physical attributes are not going to resonate with all of you and that's okay. It doesn't mean it's not your reading. It's just confirmation for some of you. We do see other involvements, but I kind of don't think so. I, I feel like there might be other people that are very attracted to this person, but I do feel like they're holding back from dating, um, maybe they're just holding back from anything kind of too serious 
with anybody um, because they it does feel like they're looking for the one cancer but I think you are just going to be someone who just hits so differently okay for this person all right let's see clear messages advice and guidance for my cancers please how else will you be able to identify this person they're going to be physically active you're going to be very physically attracted to one another they may come from overseas okay It might be somebody you've already met before. Okay, three of cups. Could be that you met this person on, on a vacation, traveling. Um, others of you, it could be somebody that kind of, um, maybe they travel for work or maybe they come to your country or your office, you know, once a week, once a month, once a year. Um, all right, they have an odd numbered birth here. And this person is musically inclined. Yeah, but see, they have been in your proximity at least once in the last six months. So it may be somebody who travels a lot or has some type of relationship with you or like your work or something where they're, they're come, they come and go. Um, yeah, okay. But they have been around you in the last six months. They met you more than a year ago. So this is somebody that my cancers, you already know. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, you might want to pay attention the next time, you know, that person comes in from, you know, the, the European office or, you know, what have you. All right. This person does have children, their average height. And yeah, we do see that they're quite fit. They're a gym rat. They're very health conscious. And they also dress well. They're, you know, they're not outdated in their style or the way that they dress. Okay. All right, so what they like about my cancers here, we have the six of wands. They see you as the best of the best. This person definitely is checking out your assets. This person's very physically attracted to you, but they also see you like, I wanna say in your glory, right? The six of wands is like, you get a lot of, um, you, you get, maybe you're doing quite well for yourself or you get a lot of praise you know, in the work environment. They just see you as, as the best of the best. That's the six of wands. Six of wands is also, you know, a marriage card for me, even though she's sitting here on her own, but they, you are so different. As I said earlier, there's something about you cancer that just hits different. You're the caliber of person this person will deal with because I do feel they're kind of picky. Yeah. Okay. And we get the two of wands and the eight of pentacles. I do think some of you work with this person. I know it just keeps coming through. It's not going to be true for all of you. But the Eight of Pentacles, this person likes that you're hardworking. They like that you're detail oriented. They also like that you're 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 a go getter. The Two of Wands is saying, "I want to move forward. I'm looking to better my life." And and I think it's coming through with the Six of Wands. So a lot of you, you know, you're just you're not stagnant. You're not just sitting around. You're making changes for the better, or you're going after your dreams. And this person finds that to be just really sexy, really really powerful. Yeah, and you're doing well for yourselves, Cancer, the Seven of Wands. Like, you are doing well, and they like that. They admire that. Um, they see you as successful, and it feels like they want to be with you, not just because you're successful, but because they're that way too, all right? That King of Wands, you know, you both could be entrepreneurs, or it's just like you both want to, you know, build this future, or build a future, build a better future for yourselves, and that's where you really come together. All right, so let's see. What else do they love about my cancers? Ooh, yeah, they're very, they're, there's a, such a romantic vibe here. They find you charming, this potential for power. Yeah, they see your potential. They see that you're powerful. They find you to be romantic and charming. And they also see you as, yeah, like you're not, con you're a little bit unconventional. Again, it, a little free spirited. It takes that type of energy to like really, I want to say to be successful, to stand out. And you definitely do. And you're, you're a little unpredictable and they like that. Um, you're just different than the people that either they've been exposed to or they're used to dealing with. And some of you could have Virgo energy in your chart, but they also like that you kind of pull back and like, not to say that you don't have friends or you're not gregarious or you're not, um, you know, like good around other people, but like you, you're, I feel like a lot of my cancers out there, you're self-made or you're self-reliant and they really like that about you. And um, they also really like your taste, you know, your taste in music, your taste in art, your taste in clothing. Um, they, they like the way you dress. They like the way you present yourself, the way you look. 
um, I think you two will look really good next to each other. And I think they see that. And I know that sounds a bit vain, but yeah, we're, you, you're going to make a good looking couple here. Um, what else we need to know about this connection? Ten of Pentacles. I see that there's potential for a lot of abundance here. Some of you, if you're looking to have a family or blend families, I definitely see that here in this Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, you are meant to have children with this person right next to the Six of Cups. But that's not for all of you. Not for all of you. It just There's abundance and stability here. An external party is intruding on this relationship. So we did get... Um, well, no, we didn't. I thought we got maybe uh, other involvements here, but we didn't. Okay. So there could be some interference here, but I, I, I don't, I don't really feel like it's because they're dating anybody else. The only concern I can see here, Cancer, is that there might be someone that wants to get with this person. Cause I do feel like they get, oh yeah, here it was. I knew it was showing up other involvements here. Um, I, I, I actually, I mean, it is coming through, so we can't totally deny it. But I do feel like these other involvements could be somebody that they loosely dealt with that they're not dealing with anymore, okay? Or uh, people that really want this person because I do feel like they have a lot to offer. I do think they're very good looking. They're probably in a position of power as well. And so I do feel like you might have, you know, just watch out for people that are like trying to sabotage this or maybe competition here. But truthfully, Cancer, I don't think you have competition, not in this person's eyes. This is a destined partnership and someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you. So some of my cancers, you know, I can't deny it could be somebody coming back from your past because we see that you've already met this person. Maybe you've already dealt with them in some sort of capacity. Okay, with the Six of Cups there, it can be reunion. But this is a new love reading and my intentions are that it is somebody completely brand new, but you do know them. That's coming through very clear. So it doesn't mean that they're an ex. Maybe they regret not telling you something, how they felt asking you out the last time they saw you. And, and they could have some regret about whatever this third party is. You know, this could be somebody that they dealt with that they immediately realized was a bad idea. And that bad idea might be rearing its ugly head. So just be aware of that. Okay. And we do see spiritual lesson and spirit saying detach with love to clearly see the truth. So there is, so if there is some sort of drama here about, you know, a third party or some type of interference, make sure you pull back and take a look at it because I think you'll be quite forgiving of this person. You know, I feel like they might have hooked up with or they might have dealt with somebody in a moment of weakness and they highly regret it. And I, I can see them kind of being like cringe, you know, cringing about it. But this that other person like doesn't want to let them go. It just feels like some feels like a bit of jealousy there. Maybe even a little bit obsessed on on somebody may be obsessed with your person is what I'm getting. So anyway, just take a look at that. Take a look at it. All right. What else do my cancers need to know here? Yeah, follow the path of ascension. Okay, so I do feel like this is just about doing you, up-leveling, holding yourself in high regard, and remember that um, love language, gift-giving. This person may give you gifts, maybe, br maybe bring you a gift, and tokens of reciprocity hold cherished memories. Yeah, maybe you've given this person or maybe you did something really nice for this person in the past. They're not going to forget that and you're not going to realize that they either held on to it for this long or that that really made a huge impact. So maybe you helped them out in some way or maybe you gave them a gift. Um, feels good. Feels feels pretty good. All right, let's see. Can we get some important dates for my cancers? So the message is very, very clear. You do already know this person. Does not mean it's an ex. I cannot be more clear about that. Um, now is not the right timing and allow the process. Okay, Cancer. So this might be something that takes some time to come in. Spirit's being quite vague about any dates here. So I'm going to leave it here. You're going to have to let me know how these messages resonate with you. If they do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light cancers. Take care.